Chapman. I'm an American Air Gun Hunter. This week I went back down to Texas and I was after hogs. And uh, it's one of my favorite things to go after in, in terms of uh, big game because you can hunt them year-round. Uh, there's there's no limits. You get a lot of shooting in. You get a lot of hunting in. And it's a, a really good quarry for the uh, big boy air gunner. So my plan was to start up in North Texas. I was going to go to a, a friend's ranch that's about uh, 50, 60 miles north of Abilene. I was going to hunt there for a couple of days, then drop down to another friend's uh, ranch that's about, um, oh, it's a good 300 miles away. It's down uh, down south, almost in Port Stockton. I was going to do hogs in the first part of it, and then I was going to go down after Havelina. So uh, I'm back home. I've already been on the trip. Uh, so. I want to take you down there, walk you through the footage, and uh, show you the hunt. The gun I'm using is the Hatson Pile Driver. I've got this gun in both 50 and 457, and I took the 457 caliber this time. I like both of these, but I, I think I actually prefer the 457. It's a bit flat, flatter shooting. Uh, I, I just I really like the terminal performance on it. Uh, though the 50 has been a real winner for me as well. This particular 457 I'm taking down, I've used a lot. Um, I've taken a few deer with it now. I've taken a few hogs. I've taken javelina, and um, it's really uh, it's really done a good job for me. The uh, the only thing I, I change on it is I may uh, go for a shorter barrel, and I have something I'll show you in a couple videos about that. But uh, come on down with me. We're gonna we're gonna go down there. We're gonna do this uh, this hunt, and uh, I'll kind of talk you through it. Come back afterwards and tell you a little bit about it.
So on the hunt, I started out in the blind, as you saw. Um, I, uh, I was uh, dropped off uh, down a, a road uh, on the ranch where um, there are deer feeders and they dropped some corn on the way. And uh, I, uh, I moved in, I hiked in and, and climbed into blind. In the morning, and I sat there for, for a while until uh, the sun was, was well up and uh, didn't see anything. I, I saw a couple of pigs in the distance running across the road, uh, but nothing came down my way. So I sat there for a while and finally, uh, before, uh, before I headed back in, I decided to grab my stuff and go hike, uh, hike across the ranch and see if I could kick something up. And uh, I got out into a big flat plain amongst a few uh, stock tanks and was moving along. I saw a lot of pigs sign around and then I started spotting the occasional small pig um, in, through, the, uh, through the grass. And finally I saw one that had left the water and run out in the field and started feeding. I had the wind in my favor, um, I had a lot of trees. I know it looks sparse, but there were enough trees that I could actually get behind them and, and move in close. And uh, I moved in, uh, and at one point I dropped to a knee and I started to get ready to shoot. And just as I was ready to squeeze it off, the pig started wandering off. So I, I let it move on and I, I got up and, and moved along. Um, I don't know if you can appreciate it, but <clears throat> when I finally got to a place where I could set up, I got up on my sticks, I had the gun ready looked through the scope and through the grass, I was, I was on a knee, you know, I was about level with the grass, um, but I could see through the grass well enough that I didn't have any concerns about the, the slug getting through. Um, I lined up a, a headshot on the pig and uh, hit it, dumped it, and it was all she wrote for that hog. So uh, anyway, it was, it was one down uh, and um, I, uh, again, I, I found the hats and pile driver did a great job for me. I really liked this gun a lot. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, uh, keep coming back. I'll have more hunts coming. I'm going to do some small games, some predators, more hogs. I'm going to do a lot of hogs this year. Um, and, uh, and come back and, and join me.